Well, a frequent visitor to Terp Talk and to our videos. Uh, one of the leaders of the defense, my good buddy, Curtis Corley. Curtis, talk about the development of the defense this year. How proud are you of what they've done so far? Yeah, I'm very proud of our defense. You know, we had a couple tight games in the beginning of the season um, where, you know, some of our guys, you know, their heads may still still been spinning, you know, first time being out on the field or whatever, the jitters or whatever you want to say. Um, and then now that we we're just, you know, starting to hit our stride, we're, we're going really good down there. You know, everyone's getting better each day. The, the confidence on everybody's just, you know, they're getting a lot better. You know, some of the guys that, you know, their confidence may not have been that good in the fall. You can just see each and every day they're getting better, you know, one step at a time, 1% each day. That's all we need right now. If we just, now we're getting into the conference play, you know, different animals. So I'm just excited about what we can do. You face a tall task this week with Grant Amon and the rest of the Penn State uh, offense. Uh, they've really come a long way, but it's not surprising you've played them before. Yeah, they are. They're a great you know, team. You know, they, they, not only is it just their offense, you know, the way that they do stuff at the faceoff X, the way they do stuff down at the defensive end, their goalie play. You know, they set up a lot of like transition stuff. You know, all the time, all of the place, their their middies, their attack, uh, whoever's you know initiating that dodge. You know, they've always got someone working for it on the off ball. You know, they're amazing. You look at their stats. You know. I think it's like half of their goals are assisted, you know. So it's it's a lot of team play down by that down there by them. So it's it's going really good for them. You know, it's just be another uh, big test for us coming down into Maryland Stadium. You know, on Sunday night with all the lights around us, you know, people behind us. So you gotta love it. You gotta it'd love be it. Be a great environment. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's for every home game is, but especially when it when the weather's habitable. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's for a little sure. bit different in those early <laughs> games. Uh, Coach uh, Tillman's philosophy, Jesse's philosophy, does it change defense game to game? Like, you know, is it usually Curtis, your own amen, or it's never like that? It's always a team effort per se. We got team effort, you know, a way we're going to attack this team, you know, like I said, the, like their entire attack group, their entire midfield group, their defensive group, their face-off, their in, their goalie play down to everything. We you know we gotta attack them as an entire team. We're not gonna just single out one guy on our team and say, "Hey, take the reins. You got this." It's a whole team effort. You know, we we're gonna put everything we can into it. It's not gonna be one, th three guys. You know, it's gonna be all 40, 49 of us out there. You know, basically from the sideline to everybody. It's uh, everybody. It's a big team effort from everything. Building engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Curtis, last question. Uh, you first year you were in the NCAA final, then your team won the title, then last year the final four. And this year is kind of like a different team without uh, Kelly being there and some of the other guys. Talk about how the coaches adjust to to keep you fresh. Not you, but the team with so much personnel change. Hey, you know, <clears throat> Coach Tillman, he, he always says, you know, we reload, and I, I 100% believe in that. You know, the way that the way that he finds the, the right guys for this program that buy in completely, you know, the Maryland style. You know, we're, we're different from other teams than, than some of the other guys out there, you know, in the D1 program. So they, as long as you buy into what you got here as, you know, the coaching staff, because we have one of the best coaching staffs in the entire country that I believe. The best. The best. <laughs> Sorry. I'll say. <laughs> and, and you know, it's amazing. You just when you have a full forty-nine guys buy in, you get the fifty-eight. You know, even Tim Honor, our equipment guy, if he buys in, we're all there. You got Keith over there. You know, setting us up for these uh, interviews and everything. Everyone's buying in. It's a great environment to be a part of. And, you know, one that you want to be part of every single day, and you look forward to. So it's just amazing what you know, Coach Tillman and the staff does. Uh, Curtis, good luck the rest of the year. Uh, a good start to the season, but a long way to go. Yeah, long way to go. Thank you very much.